Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial and in this one we are going to draw a very nice wave and you will be needing a lot of white for this one I've even bought a, a stick of white so I can spare out my pastel pencils and um, it's also very a quick way for the setup and what I also want to remind you is have a very sharp knife handy to uh, sharpen your pencils. Do not use a pencil sharpener because your, uh, the points of your uh, pencil will break. And what you can see here is that we are working with three layers. There's the part of the sky, there's the part of the, the sea itself and the breaker wave that is on a sloping beach so this part below that's all land and you have that nice foam that is uh, going up to the beach and for this tutorial I'm using Canson paper it's very nice uh, not the lightest one the second light lightest and it's a very nice kind of paper with a lot of texture and when you start uh, drawing this it is very very important to start out with the the where the where about your uh, horizon will be so I simply put it in with the, the white pastel bar and the light will be coming from the right and then I go around very quickly by putting in some rough clouds so this is all in white and it's very important to get a lot of white into your uh, grayish paper and here you can see me drawing in already the, the head of the wave itself where the light is hitting and it's all foamy and, and, and shiny and here the wave is bending over so you get that nice feel of dynamic and I also uh, put in my bar a little bit flat to get that feel of uh, where the water is going and how it's rotating around and here you can also see the line of the beach itself and then it's time for the blue it's the top line of our sea and I've used the ruler again and now I'm simply starting to color in everything with the same blue at the far distance uh, there's a vast amount of water so that will be quite dark and as the sea is coming nearer to you it will be a little bit lighter so for the sea nearby us I'm using a green a mid green not too bright and I'm putting that over the blue that I've already put in and you can also see it mixing with the little bit of white that I've already put in there. Now the blue is very blue so I'm using a, a mid grey to go over that blue and to temper it down a little bit. The sky itself and the white cold clouds uh, well that can be as blue as you want I want really white clouds in the sky and then a really really nice blue sky it's a nice day so I put that in with all of the same blue and then mixing it together a little bit except for the edge of the clouds itself of course And then I'm taking a darker blue and I go 
alongside the edges of those clouds again. I really, really want them to be standing out in the sky. So I'm putting over the mid blue, over this I'm putting in a, a darker blue. And later on I can mix that with the blender stick or with my finger and then smoothing it everything out. And you can do that uh, as far as you want. Uh, maybe to get um, the, the paper not visible anymore and then simply rubbing everything in. Okay, next is that green again. And now I will be starting to work my way in the wave itself. And at the top of the wave, the water is kind of thin and the light will be shining through the top of that wave. And here I have taken the dark blue that I've also used uh, on the horizon. And I put that in underneath the, the, the part that is uh, rolling over, because there it is quite dark. And also at the basic of the wave itself, I put in that blue, because there the water is thicker and, and the light cannot shine through it that much. And it's not the good color again, it's just the, the, the basic layer for the rest. And here I have taken an even lighter green because there's algae in the water and the light is shining through this. And I also put that uh, algae green on uh, the part that is floating down towards the sea back again putting it over the whites and over the dark blue. And here's my pastel bar again. And what I'm doing now, except breaking it, of course, um, that is, uh, I want to, to get that really dynamic feel. So I even go over the horizon for the top wave to be splashing around and then I work my way down like so and then maybe get some nice effects of splattering water and I also use that little bar for the inside of the wave to get that feel and get some lines in there and make it like looking like glass kind of glass and the darkest darkest blue that I can f that I could find in my uh, box of pastel pencils I put that inside that that wave and here just underneath the whites of that wave and that is the part that is so dark also here underneath those those heads of the wave a little bit of very very dark blue and then simply rubbing it out now for the beach itself and that foamy edge uh, you can easily uh, make that pop out by putting in a little bit of uh, shadow underneath that and you can always go over the wave again. If, you, if it's not at your liking, you can uh, play around with the pastel. And that's the nice thing about pastel. Even if you make a mistake or something, just go over it. Okay, here I'm back at the beach again. And as an underlayer, I'm using a kind of... Uh, pink and that's just for the edge of the white foam and and the gravel itself of the beach 
but you will have to keep in mind that um, as it is water that is going back to the sea there will be a lot of light on that so it's kind of a mirror so there's a lot of white in uh, the the land part the sand part now the white foam I want to really have to pop out so I'm just going over and over that again with the white and for the sea itself I'm blending in all those pigments together simply with my white pastel and now what I can do is put in some extra small waves with the pastel bar and also for the top of that uh, wave that is uh, a way you can uh, almost see through that I put in a little bit of yellow this way it's popping out of my drawing and uh, I like that and if you think the blue is too blueish you can always put in a little bit gray over, over that and for the part uh, in front, so where where the sea is uh, really shallow, I put in that azure blue, that nice kind of greenish blue. And here I put in some extra shine on the beach itself. And of course a little bit of shadow just next to the foam to make that pop out well I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you will give this a try because it's so nice to work your way around with the parcel and, and put in some, some power and, and dynamic this is where I will quit it I could work on it for hours more putting in some, some birds or whatever you want. Anyway, I will hope you will give this a big like and to see you again in one of my other tutorials. Take care, see you next time.